All right, quick little camera phone video here. Now, for those of you wondering why I'm doing the camera phone, my webcam is being kind of retarded right now. I need to update its drivers or something. It's just not working correctly. So for now, you're going to have to deal with it like this. So as many of you know, I do reaction videos, and seldom do I turn down requests for me to react to something. Now, my criteria for turning it down is if they actually send me a video of somebody legitimately being killed, or they send me something equally horrible and potentially illegal, or they send me an Onision video. I'm not going to watch a snuff film. I'm not going to watch something of a pornographic nature that I don't even want to fucking get into, and I'm not going to fucking put myself, usually through watching, one of that asshole's videos. Because as far as I'm concerned, an Onision video is worse than a pornographic, a child pornographic fucking snuff film. I made the exception today to watch one of these fucking things very briefly, because when they sent me this video over Tumblr, they put in, you might want to watch this video to about a minute or so in, I think he makes a personal jab at you about the death of your grandmother. And uh, because the video was about bipolar disorder, it's called How to Tell If You Have Bipolar Disorder. They basically go, I was putting two and two together. It just felt like it was a personal stab at you. And you may want to just, you know, you may want to know about it. So I watched the video. And in true to form, an on bullshit, all he's goddamn doing is looking up stuff on Google about bipolar disorder and making people who have this unfortunately fucked up mental illness... Uh, look like a pack of crazy jackasses and that we're all just unstable and he doesn't give a fuck about it. But he does, in my opinion, make a very s subtle personal stab at me. As many of you know, I lost my grandmother recently. She passed away. And it's still hitting me just as hard now as the day I found out the news. You know. And... This is my reaction to his little, his little reference there, his little comment. He's making a joke, basically, about somebody losing their family in a plane crash, and, oh, they'll never be able to see their grandma again. Wah. He looks directly into the fucking camera, right when he says it. In my opinion, if you know the history, you know, between the two of us motherfuckers on there, there was no room for doubt. Fuck you, dude. You're a goddamn coward. Yeah, what you said hurt. I'll give you that. It, it hurt. But I'm glad that it hurt. Because that reminds me that I'm still human and feel. I'm not a completely emotionally callous sociopath like you. I'm also blessed enough to have a family that loves me and cares about me as much as mine does. You don't have that satisfaction. So you don't really have any room to talk. Your father was apparently a child molesting asshole who abandoned you when you were very young. And your mother is a pseudo-spiritual lunatic who seems to think that grabbing at a man's every penny, man after man after man, to find you a replacement dad, makes her mother of the year because she birthed you her special little snowflake. You can make jabs at my character like that. They will hurt. Because I can feel. But at the end of the day, it's going to say so many fucking things about you that I don't even need to say. It goes to say that you don't give a shit about how other people around you feel. That it's all about you. You don't like when your feelings are disrespected, but you don't give a fuck about disrespecting somebody else's. Which goes to tell me that when people pass away in your family, you don't give a fuck. You probably think it's a big inconvenience you have to go to their funeral at all because you don't have time to make videos anymore. You could walk into your son's room and your son could, God forbid, just hypothetically, could pass away from sudden infant death syndrome. You know what the first thought in your fucking mind would be, asshole? Well, shit, how in the hell am I going to put this up on YouTube? This is pretty dark. How am I going to vlog about this? 
And when your wife is done grieving, how am I going to fuck her and get a replacement kid? I mean, YouTube is really going to think I'm a scumbag now that I did a video about this. Now I'm going to have to figure out how to make up for it somehow. I guess I'm just going to have to make Troy too. I can make just as fucking hot, awful and callous and fucking evil stabs at your character that you can try to fire my way. But I know they don't do anything to you. So fuck you, asshole. Yeah, I love my grandmother. She was like my mom, basically. She took care of me, raised me, same as my grandfather. And I'm going to forever, forever, until the day I fucking die, be in their debt for the life that they gave me. You know, this was just a two-second little blurb, and he made other blurbs like this, too, throughout the video, you know. So it wasn't just one thing, but there so, were little subtle two-second fucking remarks where you know exactly what the fuck he's trying to say. Well, I get it. I get it. And if you want to jab at your character, I get it that you're such a fucking pussy, such a ballless goddamn loser... That after your dad got done molesting you, and apparently your sister, you let him get the fuck away with it. I'm glad to know that you're such a fucking pussy that you think it's, I don't know, admirable that you go on YouTube and cry and whine as much as you do about having to pay alimony, saying your wife is making, your ex-wife is making you suffer. I hope she makes you suffer, you worthless piece of shit. I mean, you are beyond a fucking scumbag. Oh, and if your fucking ragweed-haired mother wants to get up on here and defend you and say, My son is a wonderful guy. He just, you know, you don't understand. He's been special his entire life. Bitch, I want to hear your excuses for bringing this fucking thing into the world. I want to hear you defend his fucking behavior, asshole. I want to see it. I want to see you try to defend you making sure that your kid felt he was better than everybody else and deep down has a right to fucking shit on some of the more fucking hurtful things in a person's life the way he goddamn does and not have to feel any sort of reprehensibility for it. Any sort of responsibility for his actions and his fucking behavior. Defend it, you fucking bitch. You know, supposedly, and I won't name names, but supposedly one of the other ranters had a conversation with this lady, and uh, I don't deny that it happened, you know. I, I'm not going to say that they were lying to me. I believe that it happened, but... I would have loved to just sit in on that conversation and just listen to it because I would have loved to just pop in out of nowhere and say, that's really nice you feel that you really don't like what your son does, but I have a huge problem believing it since you're the only person who raised him and logically you're the only one who could have been responsible for him fucking turning out this way. Anyway, fuck this worthless piece of human trash. If I ever see this motherfucker in person, I should just throat punch him on sight. I really should. Fuck you, you worthless fucking asshole.